So if you found the perfect video, but let's say the quality could be improved some, in the past you just have to throw it away and find a new video. But now with the power of AI, you can use video upscalers to improve the quality of your video. You can do so much with tools like these. You can do things like improve your video resolution, reduce motion blur, reduce shakiness, and so much more. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can use Topaz Video AI to upscale and enhance your video super quickly. Let's get into it. First off, we need to download Video AI. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the Topaz Lab website. And over here, we'll click the menu icon and go to downloads. Then from here, we can choose which software we want and then choose if it's for a Mac or Windows and we'll click download now. Now, when you first open up Topaz Video AI, if you haven't already purchased a copy of it, you can either buy a license here or you can try a free demo so you can try the software out for yourself, which is pretty awesome. So I'll go ahead and start a free demo. Now we simply just have to browse for a video that we wanna use. So I'm gonna open up my file here. Then once you choose your video file, it'll automatically put it in for you. So we can see here on the left side of the interface, we have our original video and we have a large preview of it. Over here's our view options. So we can either have a single view, a split view, which will show you the difference between your before and after once we start making changes, a side-by-side -side view, which is really nice as well. And then we have an AB comparison mode and a full screen preview as well. Then over here, we have some of our video settings. So here's our presets and some defaults that we have is a 4X slow motion, 8X super slow motion, auto crop stabilization. You can convert it to 60 frames per second. You can upscale to 4K, upscale to FHD. You can deinterlace and upscale and you can upscale to 4K and convert it to 60 frames per second. And then we can see our, our resolution here, our frame rate, and then we have some enhancement options as well, like stabilization, motion de-blur, and a few others. So once we have our video uploaded here, the first step we wanna do is to choose a preset that we'd like. So for this example, I exported one of my own videos at a really low resolution on purpose. So we can see it's only 640 by 360. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a preset here and let's upscale it to 4K. Now, since I am using a demo copy of the software, you can see that it has this Topaz Lab, watermark, but that'll go away when you purchase it. But we can still see the difference that this made. So I'm gonna to go to the split view because I think it's pretty cool to see. And you can see our original resolution over on the left and our higher resolution on the right. And as I scrub through, you can really see just how different it is from the low resolution to the high resolution. Especially if you look at the details in like the hair up here and then in our eyes, it makes a gigantic difference with the upscaler. Once you have your preset chosen, the next thing you can do is you can choose a lot of these filters and changes that you wanna to add to your video. So for instance, if you want to add stabilization, you have these options here for that. If you want to remove some motion blur, you can do the motion de-blur here. And from here, it's really just customizing how you want your video to look. Over here under enhancement as well, you also have your AI model. And this is something you want to play around with depending on the video that you're using, as they'll really change the look and feel of the video. So for instance, I'll change this to Iris and let's preview it. It'll take a moment here to render it out and then we can see the difference. Some of the models will make a big difference and some won't just depending on what kind of footage you're working with. But I like the way that the Iris one looks for this video specifically. Now, once you're happy with your video and everything looks right to you, you'll want to export your video. And to do that, you're going to go to the very bottom right here and click export. From here, it'll give you your export options and it'll start automatically exporting the video for you. You can pause it here if you want it to stop and you can continue the export here anytime by clicking the play button. You can also change your export settings over here by clicking this button. You have options for choosing your codec. So if you want to do this, such as QuickTime you can, or H.264. You can change your bit right here from dynamic or constant, the quality level that you want, your audio mode, the container that it's using, so an MOV, an MKV, or an MP4. And if you wanna apply a LUT, you can do that here as well. And then once all your export settings are ready, you can click export, and you can either export as to change the file name, or you can click export to automatically export it. Now, once you start playing around with video AI yourself, you'll notice that there are still some limitations with the software. While it is pretty awesome and can do a lot, it's not a miracle tool, and you might find some issues with output inconsistency, large file sizes, and some other things. These limitations are more exaggerated too, depending on the files that you're working with. So let's say you're taking a very, very tiny video and making it 4k you're gonna see some more inconsistencies versus taking something that's already high resolution and making it a little better looking but there are still so many use cases for AI video upscalers and they're very powerful especially as the technology continues to improve we're gonna see them get even better and better as time goes on thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you found it helpful before you go though make sure you check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one